Recent restaurant industry stats tell us most new restaurants have a very low survival rate, but don't let that scare you off. You could learn from the past mistakes of past restaurant tours because they make the same mistakes over and over again. Your restaurant doesn't have to be a statistic, but instead you can turn it into a money printing machine. For this video, let's focus on creative marketing. Keyword being creative, because if you do the average marketing, you're going to get average results. So creative is key, but let's dive into the marketing aspect of creative marketing. The exact definition of marketing is the activity or business of promoting and selling products or services, including market research and advertising. So it's pretty broad and it covers a lot, which makes it hard to create tactics around it. Because when you're creating ways to generate sales, you want your goal to be as crystal clear as possible. So let's make your goal crystal clear. Your goal is to generate sales through marketing. Simple as that. Creative ways to generate sales through marketing. And I like to simplify things even further by breaking down where those sales you're trying to generate are coming from into two different categories. One, outward marketing, which is generating sales by bringing new customers through the door. And number two, inward marketing, which is generating sales by selling more to your existing customers. This distinction brings up one of the biggest problems I see with restaurants today and why they're not getting a lot more sales through creative marketing. 90% of restaurants are solely focused on or mostly focused on outward sales generation and not inward sales generation. And while both are crucial, retaining an existing customer is five times cheaper than acquiring a fresh face. It's also much easier and it builds relationships with current customers, churning them into loyal repeat customers, which should be your ultimate goal. Why? Loyal repeat customers will spend a lot more money more often and they will be a nonstop marketing machine for your restaurant. I can go on and on about this forever, but let's get back to creative inward sales generation because I have tons of inward sales generation strategies, but in this video, I'm going to teach you one of my favorite, which I call the gift card strategy. So I just had a restaurant I work with in Northern California. It was a steakhouse and the busiest month for them was December, but their slowest month was January. And they were like, Preston, this month just kills us. It's crippling our annual p &L. So I ran my gift card promotion. Here's how it worked. Every time someone had dined in with them during December, their busiest month, Month. For every $100 they spent, they would get a $20 gift card. You don't advertise this, you don't tell them about it, and you don't even promote it. We would just give them the gift card at the end of the experience. So let's say someone dined in with us and they spent $300. And at the end of the experience, the server would say something like, and this would be scripted, of course, for consistency and maximum profitability. But they would say something along the lines of, by the way, the owners wanted to give back to the customers to show appreciation for you spending time with us. So we're giving you $20 for every $100 you've spent tonight. You've spent $300, so here's $60 in gift cards. The only caveat is they can only use these gift cards in January, the slowest month. You don't preface it that way. You don't wanna tell them what you're doing. So you frame it in a positive way, something like uh, you have all the way through January to use this. So anytime in January, these gift cards are good to go. You also set up parameters to make sure people don't take advantage of the promotion and to set it up for maximum profitability. You don't let them use the gift cards on alcohol and you don't let them stack the gift cards. And it's very important to make sure the server or bartender explains this very clearly. All the rules need to be delivered very carefully. So there's no confusion when the guest comes in to use the gift cards. Any confusion will lead to people losing trust in the restaurant, which will lead to them not coming back. So it's important to make sure they're crystal clear on how the gift cards work. Again, it's all about verbiage. You don't want it to sound like a bummer. Word things correctly in the script that you make with these gift cards so they seem valuable. If delivered right, the strategy is proven to work. Within the first week of January, the steakhouse I was working with was booked with reservations. By the end of January, they had over double the sales year over year. It worked like a charm because people will come back and they're gonna spend more than $20. The steakhouse average entree was 35 to $40. It's a really good strategy to push people into your slower season. Everyone has a slow season and it's just about getting creative. A $20 discount on food is nothing compared to having an empty restaurant. And side note, a lot of people ask me if they should offer this with the to-go orders as well. My answer is always yes. Sales are sales. Again, my name is Preston and my goal is to give you all the tools to turn your restaurant into a money printing machine. If you own a restaurant and want to grow your profits, then leave a comment and let me know what kind of restaurant you own and what you want to learn next. And I'll try and make a video about it. I've been doing this for over 20 years and I've helped every type of restaurant, every shape, every form. So if you want to learn more, more on how to grow profits through your restaurant, then subscribe and turn on the notifications since I'll be releasing a new strategy every week. All it takes is knowledge and as always, take action.